Wait, does she actually believe they're real? Another one? Nah, -uh. you're kidding me. It worked. Hey guys, it's Julia. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe because we're almost at a million subscribers, which is so exciting. And I decided that when we hit a million, I really want to do a huge giveaway. But I don't know what to give away, so if you could comment down below what you want me to give away, that'd be good because I really want to get you guys something that you actually want. This video is all about contouring. Because contouring is literally the biggest beauty trend this year. Like last year, it was lips. The year before that, eyebrows. The year before that, I think it was winged liner. So I thought I'd make a video on all the weird ways and things that you can contour. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Now let's go ahead and get into the contouring. First things first, we're gonna start with the face and all the weird things you can use from your house, like that are literally in your house to contour said face. A knife. Knife contour. For this one, we're just gonna take our contour stick and use the knife as a guideline for the contour. I feel like it worked pretty well, but you wanna use a dull knife so you don't cut your face. Spoon tour. For this one, we're gonna do basically the same thing as the knife contour, only with a spoon. If you're scared that the knife might cut your face, the spoon tour option is probably better for you. Tape tour. This time we're going to be using tape as a guideline, so you just want to put it wherever you contour, and then contour, and then go ahead and blend it out. And then when you pull the tape off, you're going to have to blend it out just a little bit more. Much better. Doctor. I've seen pictures of celebrity makeup artists do this on their celebrity clients and I thought it'd be super funny to try out and it actually works really well out of all of them. This is probably my favorite contour to do. Looks great. Oh no, the dots are back. Tour. Obviously this one isn't very realistic, but it's super fun to do when you're bored and just want to play with makeup. There are so many different animals and themes you could do for this. I could just come up with like a billion videos on this, but I just did my favorite and that is a cat contour. If you go on Instagram, you can just scroll through tons of these and they're so fun to look at. It definitely doesn't blend as well as dot tour, but I still think it's pretty good. Clown tour. This one was really popular on Instagram. I remember seeing so many of these, and I think it's super funny, so I thought I'd try it out. It's not very easy to blend, though, so it's not as practical, but it works. Lip tour. For this one, we're gonna start by highlighting and contouring around the lips and then just outlining them a little bit over the lines with a darker lip liner and then a lighter lipstick and then highlight four dots in the middle to make it very pouty. Nose tour. This is a very popular trick that people use to make their noses look smaller and thinner, almost like they had plastic surgery. Uh, uh, achoo. Leg tour. This was my first time actually doing a leg tour, but it makes your legs look a lot more muscular and defined and even tanner. Butt tour. So you can contour your butt just like this. I'm not going to do it in this video because I feel like some people might get mad if my butt is like center focus in this video. Collarbone tour. For this one you just kind of want to follow your natural collarbone lines and then contour and highlight and it's supposed to make your collarbones look a lot more defined. 
Boob door. Just about everyone and their mother has either seen this one, tried this one, or heard of it, and it's just to make your boobs look bigger or just have more cleavage. Ab tour. I tried really hard to make this one work, although it just didn't really mm, look that legit on me, but I have seen pictures of people doing this and it looked really real, so if you want to try to get some abs without working out, there you go, try it. Did you like the video? Well, if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Obviously, the ab one doesn't really work that well on me because my stomach is not flat, but we work with what we got. And I am not in any way, shape, or form trying to say that you need to contour, wear makeup, or get plastic surgery to make your body look a certain way. I think everyone's body is beautiful just the way it is. And I think contouring is just fun to do when you're bored and want to play with makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And if you missed my previous video, you can click here on the screen to watch it or the link in the description of all of my social media. So I'll either see you in that video or my next video and I'll talk to you guys later. Heart! Bye!